So there's the Borla S-Type muffler. It's a solve a problem now. It's not really a problem because it was bought on purpose like this. But if you line that one of those tips up, generally you see, and as I saw from the dark horse, from the edge of that reflector, the lower end, straight down was about the same. So I'm actually gonna take a Dremel just essentially cut that out all the way across. And we'll have that going. Give you a one more cold start since there's no wind out right now. We got all the piping in here. Go ahead and put this up so I don't scratch it. All right, just move it to the side in the meantime. That'd be okay. Let's go first a little high. So there's the Borla X pipe. Got the adapters. Worst comes to worst, I just pop these adapters out and uh, put it on my Roush H pipe that I have already. I actually originally I thought this was, I thought this was going to come with an H pipe because on the product description Summit Racing website it showed that it's originally going to buy from Beefcake Racing, but I was impatient and want to wait any longer on for shipping times and whatnot. Granted, I've heard nothing but good things from that from the guy uh, Terry over there. The owner of Beef Cake, Beef Cake Racing. So I will be buying other parts from him, like wheels, air filters, all that jazz. Dude, message me personally, and good experience. Ran me through a couple of exhaust op options based on what I wanted, which I really didn't know what I want wanted at the time. So did recommend the AWE uh, touring because I told him I wanted something deeper, but louder than stock. <sighs> this is a little more louder and this is an X pipe not the H pipe so should be a little different but we're gonna get this up on the ramps take the stock system off with the mid pipe delete and uh, get going from there all right install is done boiler could do better on uh, the specifications of where they're welding the hanger rods but other than that, I was able to get everything lined up. Did do a rough cut just straight down. It was just the easiest. All honesty, I kind of forgot to round this off, but I'm not worried about this too much. I'm waiting for some carbon fiber aftermarket parts to come out. So I'm actually gonna clean this up with a Dremel and a finer grit sandpaper head or whatever. Probably put some heat without discoloring it and roll it back. Might even modify it some more. So. I know, sketchy. Uh, first time hearing it, cold start. Oh, wait, lock. So, lock. Yeah, that's gonna piss my neighbors off. <laughs> oh my god. That's way louder than I expected, holy shit. I'm gonna get some flybys. So aside from cold start, it actually just mellowed out like right this second. I just started to back up to pull off those ramps. That is pretty fucking quiet. That's not much louder than stock. idling a little higher once the uh, AC was on. Uh, I guess it's not a cold start. It's almost warm. Oh, 
Oh yeah. This is in normal mode, in terms of the drive mode, not the exhaust. I don't have active. As y'all saw, I had to cut the uh, the rear valence. So, Ferro Industries, I hope y'all come with that carbon one pretty soon, so I can just pop that in. Otherwise, I'll probably go find one off of a dark horse, somebody that's either selling it or uh, a wrecked vehicle.
crazy amounts of rest, none of that. A little crack in the windows. Cause... stop the hop kit from Steeda. I'll probably do that when I do their progressive springs. Alright guys, that's really about it. Not much more to it. The install was all right, especially having to do the cutting. I almost got the course uh, sport for the 15 through 17 with the uh, the dual exhaust instead of the quad, but I really wanted the quad. Uh, another pro and why I kind of didn't want the course because I didn't want those. Uh, was it the course? I can't remember which one it was. The ones that had the tips that slide on and bolt on. I can't remember if the course was like that. I could be wrong. I've watched hundreds of videos. Uh, outside of that, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the Borla S-Type. The attack might have been too loud. Who knows? I might get them just for the hell of it for some YouTube content. Uh, first, I got to do the, uh, the stop the hop kit and those springs and some 20-inch fucking Belgian wheels. 